All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Yu Yu Hawk Show, Show, episode 29. 29. Right. Kuabara. Kuabara. You are getting hurled back towards the stage of this tournament, and, yeah. and uh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not looking good for you, buddy. Not but exactly. It's okay, we only need to win three out of five. Yes, exactly. So you can just lose, and then literally everyone else has to win. <laughs> I mean, I think this is. Not too bad. I'd put Genkai and Hiei and Genkai's, Kurama as like you know, the top tier, you know, fighters I, and stuff. I the problem of, is really more that even if uh, that's kind of like a thing where they maybe trade mm -hmm. one on one. Yeah. You know, they're gonna throw their strongest fighter in on that like fourth fight. Yeah, exactly. And they're gonna be like, now uh, you used up all your strongest fighters in the first two matches to guarantee those yep. wins. Now, oh, right. good luck. Because since it's just best three, they don't, especially like with how the fights end up getting picked and stuff, if they see that, oh, Yusuke's asleep and stuff, cool, let's front load all our best fighters. Cause, exactly. You know, yeah. You know. Yeah, because he's the one that probably is the biggest biggest deal. Mm -hmm. I would love for them to continue to underestimate Genkai like everyone else has yeah. thus far. Yes, yes. And that is uh, that is something that I, I would like to see. I would also love to see, and this is just one little thing, I would love to see Kuwabara win, but Hiei lose. Because Hiei had some crazy powerful opponent, but then Kuwabara yeah. just gives him a ton of shit for it. I could see Hiei being the only one that never loses this tournament. The, yes. I, yeah, I don't think that idea is very realistic, yeah, because I, I, Hiei is yeah. definitely the badass, you know, ninja. Uh, exactly. And, and also, he's like... <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. He like was the main villain of one a previous arc. Right, but he's also like one shot like certain like mm -hmm. fights where it's like oh, oh yeah, that was that was an easy. Let's just say he would probably turn Rinku into mincemeat. Probably. Yeah. But yeah, how yo yo going to get out of this? You uh, uh Wow. Kubara. Wow. So without further ado, let's get into more yo yo hawk show. <laughs> oh. oh. The opponent Jeez. is helpless. It's Fight. hard to counterattack when you can't even move. You see, I told you Kuwabara's training wouldn't be enough. We'd best assume him dead and plan for the next oh, fight. Oh, God. No, there are still some techniques he hasn't tried. And Yusuke, I sleep. My best friend dying, I sleep. Yeah. Yusuke's like, eh, try the thing. <laughs> uh, wait. Uh, what are you doing? Right, yeah, just lift him super high. Well, at least baby brother is getting a good view of the stadium, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Jeez! Don't you know what'll happen if he falls? That's easy. He'll die. <laughs> Shizuru! You wow. should be ashamed of yourself provoking her like that! Keiko was worried because your brother's life happens to be hanging by a literal thread! The threads! Getting upset will make a heck of a difference, won't it? Damn! <laughs> wow! It's a cold ass bitch! Yeah! Uh -huh. Uh oh. Get off your lazy butt and help him. Ah! <sighs> yes! Real guts to be screaming for the human underdog in a crowd chock full of demons. And calling yeah, all the demons kind of nasty. Like sitting on the wrong side at an ogre's football game. Ah! Yes! Yes, well, true progress is achieved through adversity after all. <laughs> be just fine. I would, of course, like to help, but when is Botan going to learn to handle things for herself? Hmm. Oh. <laughs> wow. Closer, Keiko. We're not on safe grounds. Your boy's asleep. Too bad you can't protect yourself. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> what a badass! Yeah. No chill. Kuwabara got the need to defend himself growing up. <laughs> This is so much. This is amazing. <laughs> well, shit. Hey, just be glad he didn't slam you down. Use your swords. You just made your big mistake, Riku. You should have never let me use my hands. Spirit sword, get long. Get long. Nice. Oh my god! Oh wait, what? Wait, 
Wait, what? And now he's using it as an attack? So the sword absorbs your fall like a backwards bungee cord, huh? That's a pretty neato idea from a blockhead. Wow, the dub. Problem, that was you fast. Well done. Yeah. It just makes it easier for all my yo-yos to hit you at once. And That's you true. That. My only chance for a hit. Use the hand dodge. Oh, wait, wait. And it curves! Oh! Say what? His sword can bend now? It's homing. They're both gonna get hit. Yeah. Oh. But Kuwabara will be able to get back up. Did Kuwabara win? Oh, wait. Wait. Tie? But more than 10 seconds of being out of the ring. Oh. <laughs> You'd be surprised if either of them got back on their feet in time. Get up! You're late! What? What? I heard my- Oh, oh no! Crap. Crap. Yeah. Yeah, he only took the one oh, hit. Oh, shoot. Get up there, Kuwabara. I'm serious. I know you're used to losing, but not now. Wow. Wow. Oh. Did you just insult me, Yuri Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That from again? Yeah, it's from a uh, hot rod. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. Let go me, stupid yo -yo oh, that's smart. Jump! Jump! Oh. Wow. Okay. So he totally could have jumped back in, but yeah. And Rinku's the winner. All right. I like that. Cool. No, 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 no. Hold it, jerks. It's rare to see both fighters still standing. Hm. I assure you, hm. it won't happen with me. This isn't over, Jim. Meet me behind the hotel when the tournament's done. Oh! Go away. What is he talking about? Junior High. I love it. Stuff. Yep. Excuse me. Considering the stakes, we can't afford to take any chances. Don't leave the ring with him still alive. Naturally. <laughs> Naturally. Hey, how'd you get here? Leave before you hurt yourself. Well, that's a jolly thing to say to someone who's going to help you win, don't you think? Uh, you mean you're like the replacement fighter for your mission? <laughs> <laughs> no, silly. Ta-da! In addition to detective's assistant and pilot of the river sticks, I'm also a licensed trainer. Yes! Wait, yes! I'll be looking after you all and making sure you're Physical recovery. Okay. Oh, great. Then maybe you can help me nurse this Oh, my God. Wow, wow, wow. There are worldy use, Kay. Wake up. Come on now. None of that will work. The boy is determined. Well, I, I love it. get him out of the way. <laughs> Completely ignores Kuwabara's yeah. definite need for recovery as uh -huh. he strips, you know. Wow. Oh, that was great. You know, that rose whip he's got must be ten feet long. Where's he stashing? All the ways I can think of sound kind of painful. So they're each kind of He's weapon transformers of sorts. Kurama. What a joke of a round. It's a pity you couldn't have taken him and let Karama deal with the little child and his yo-yo. Hey, you watch it, Shrimpy. I just got wow. cheated is all. Your skills weren't enough for this tournament. Oh. Say your last words. I have your human mother, Karama. Or should I say, Suichi? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> So I need to introduce my little button. When I press it, a signal will be sent to my team and brother. He's been tracking your mother oh, for some shit. time. Oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. And he's been very anxious to bite her head off. You little bitch. Okay, Kill you're him, you're going to lose that hand, bro. So you understand. That is dirty. 
Yeah. No fighting back. Wait, what? You've been warned. With a push of this button, your mother will meet her death in a very unsightly manner. <laughs> His voice. Manner. So fold your arms behind manner. your back and let me hit you as I please. And he's still gonna beat him. Yeah. Ah, it's oh, the. Oh, wait. Oh, yes. That's much Shit. better. I Why do they have to bring up the sad track? Mission. Why train hard to be the best when you can hold on to one of these? A loss would make so it to zero. Don't make yes, uh, mother, turn into a weapon. The remains absolutely motionless. What the is pebble. the cause? Has he lost his willingness to fight? Why don't you answer? Tell them you refuse to fight for the sake of a human. Wait, where's the detonator? <laughs> Wow. It's brutal, it's violent, it's wonderful! Roto is punching him like a side of meat and there's no retaliation! Jeez. Okay. Ah. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I was gonna say when he's gonna use the scythe. I hate that look. Despite all I've done, you still have that look like you're superior to me. Stop that look! Where'd he hit him? Oh, yeah, it doesn't cut matter deeper. anyway. Go ahead. Press it now if you wish. <laughs> In Wait. A true character emerges. You are nothing special, nothing I class, just a selfish demon like all the rest of us here. Look at me like I'm dirt, but in the end, it's a lie. You think of only Did he already yourself. get the detonator? <laughs> Push it. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Whoa, look at his chest. Did you see his chest? Wait, there's something on his Fighting chest. On the strength of one threat is a very risky gamble. What if I truly didn't care? Or what if I could just make you immobile? There's Wait. something on his chest. It's hard to tell what's happening now, but it's clear Karama has control. I've sown the seed of the death plant in your body. And it's had plenty of time to take root. Oh shit, when he hit Is he the doing pebble. it? Are you yeah, yeah, already yeah. dead? Uh, what? It was a distraction, so I wouldn't notice the seed. Wow. The seed my energy, I have but to will it, and it will instantly bloom. I'm afraid there won't be anything left of your evil life after that. Holy Damn. Oh, shit. Come on, you believe in mercy, don't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Oh my oh, god! <laughs> oh my god! And with style. No, and such beauty sprung from such an ugly soil. Oh my god! Damn. Oh! <laughs> wow! What a relief! <laughs> like you, little shit. You keep giving yep. me commentary here, mm -hmm. like this. Okay, enough of the secret glancing stuff. What just happened? Yes, <laughs> yeah. Tell. It's past. Agreed. Wow. Uh, wow. Of them. Those demons think they're so darn cool. We are darn cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, he's pissed. Kie so versus Kie versus this guy. Kai and I think team so. Battle. The score is even at one. What will happen next? Da, 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 or maybe da. Genkai. Oh, the Genkai would be yeah, That'd be cool. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See of but okay, so Kuwabara got defeated. That makes sense. TikTok I like how they did it of... <laughs> he goes <laughs> to Yusuke. He's like, what'd you say to me, you little you shit? You say that again. Yeah, say and that then to he's my like, face. <laughs> I'm actually worried about this guy. Tie him up. Yeah, yeah. Hold him off how of the is... stage. He's like, do you run on batteries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stay down. Stay away. <laughs> And he was so scared that afterwards he went way behind his team, and then it's like, all right, heal up, you know. Do well, you, you know, me? adversity, uh, yeah, <laughs> adversity uh, will, will bring out new strength or something like that. Botan so needs to learn how to handle you know, things herself. Yeah, it's like, wait, wait, wait a minute. She needs to learn that. Oh, man. She needs to learn that? No, 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 mister, I can't reach the remote. Go get it for me, you know. <laughs> I call bullshit, Cohen. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. You, you got rinsed, Roto. Yeah. You got rinsed. You got so completely thrashed. Like I, I would say, ah. I would say, you know, you, you might have escalated things a bit quickly by 
or escalated things too much by threatening his mom. Right, but right. he was at least already going in to kill you and you him, so that I think that's fine. But yeah. But you, holy shit, I loved the twist of I have summoned a demon and I have got them yep. following stalking your mother. Uh-huh. Now, this is a bit of a, a pl- bit of a plot hole, I would say, mm. is that if that's what he had done specifically he would have let Kurama walk in first and then gone to counter him. Are you telling me that in the time that Kurama went to come out there, he's like, ah, do you have anyone that you care about? And he just detects that he does. The demon just goes to whoever he cares right. about most. He, and he, well, and he did say, I've had a demon following. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. Like, it, nah, I call it bullshit, but yeah. whatever. The point of it is that the twist of having the, I will cheat... Mm-hmm. In a way that no one else can really prove, and that even I'm if doing, they did, they might not care. Even you if know? they did, they might not care because one, it still is making you like right. lose. And they and they said anything goes. Like anything you know. goes. Yeah, there were no conditions put on this fight. Nope. So in some ways, this is important for Yusuke and the crew to basically think about this in general. Mm-hmm. Is that maybe um, no actions can be taken that interact with anything outside of the ring. Sure. So that would mean that Kuwabara can't be restrained while outside the ring in this 10 seconds. Yep. And that's something that they could they could uh, use for future fights. But yeah, at exactly, the same time, for future fights. they could think, oh, that's how this tournament goes. Oh. You know what? This is actually just an education, these sets of fights. Exactly. Of exactly what can be done, right? Mm-hmm. And then maybe Kuwabara, you know, will bring out his swords from the beginning instead of, you know, punching, right? Right. In a lot of ways, you know, and this is more of a thing that can be expected because, yeah, we're not actually going to have Karama's head get cut off. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he could have just taken the scythe and just, you know, that would have been real bad. And thankfully, he didn't do any didn't do any serious damage with the scythe, you know, like even if it was just like some serious cuts on the rest of his body. So Karama will probably be good for future fights. I would love to have those scars, though, remain on Kurama for at least a small portion of time, just Mm -hmm. to remind us that the world is persistent and and, consistent. And uh, and a nice X on his cheek. That's super stylish. Yeah. 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 Also, though, I love the idea that Kurama, talking with Hiei beforehand, has the little bit of the acknowledgement of Hiei's like, don't mess around. Kill Right. Make sure they do not leave the the, the, the ring alive. alive. And he's like, oh, I know. Yeah, and I'm of course. thinking in my head, like, Kurama, sweet, sensitive boy. The interactions he had with Yusuke, like, he's not going to be that brutal. I figured it would just be he'd cut them to pieces with his whip. You know? Yeah, I thought it would be actually just a one and done, very clean, just decapitation. Yep. Or just a stab and they're dead. You know? But nah. But no, 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 no. No. He. He. He horror movied this guy. Yeah. Like but having in such a stylish way. Having a flower, a mm-hmm. like just just a plant or something yep. like that. Just dig through your body. Oh yeah. Burst let's out just say, through all your organs and everything. Let's just say his That's, enemy is lucky that he did it very quickly. Yes. Because that could have gone a lot slower. Yeah. In some ways, Kurama kind of needed it to go quickly. Mm-hmm. So that's that's one thing there. But also, um, this is something that I think is rather impressive here is Kurama either put all of his energy into the seed and that was all it took Mm -hmm. or Kurama is capable of remotely infusing something that already has some element of his energy like his spirit Mm -hmm. energy with more of it over time uh sure I think it's the first thing that is what he did I think it's probably the first one however Kurama is if any of them were to be the experts of finesse with their abilities, it would be Kurama. It he makes uses a goddamn Kurama. whip. Like, so, so I Hie, would. I'd say also, though. He would be the runner up. Yeah. Yeah. But, but like, like, yeah. I would not be surprised if Kurama was good enough that he could just be like, eh, it's a little bit tougher. You know, it, maybe it takes more focus. You know, I need to be standing still or something. And right. I need to like be like maintaining my balance. And stuff, yeah. Like, yeah. Exactly. Kind of aspect of that. Maybe. But, but maybe. all right. I'll just, I'll just keep focusing on that, mm-hmm. you know. Um, I'll just yeah. say as far as a power goes, mm-hmm. that's terrifying because oh, yeah. it's a bad touch power that is at range, and you might not realize it's happened, and you might not realize that it's happened. Yeah, yeah. like, but now, <laughs> I'll just say every single person from here on out, every single demon that fights Kurama is gonna have like this kind of like, you know, yeah, kind yeah. of like exactly. I don't and, know what you do. 
But, but I'm not letting that shit you did to Roto happen to me. You know, you know what I love about it, though? <laughs> so um, he beat him in a janky way. Very janky, yeah. Which means that none of the demons here know what, how Kurama normally fights. Nope. None of them. They don't know he has a whip. Nope. He just beat this guy with a seed. Mm -hmm. He basically flicked something yep. and killed uh -huh. the guy. Right. He did exactly what he told him to do. And mm -hmm. this is something that I actually really respect about Kurama here. Is that because he's a demon or an apparition or whatever, um, he entered into this fight knowing that not only he was going to kill this guy, but he was going to kill this guy before the guy threatened his his mom. Uh huh. So, what what I what I really like uh, about this is that this is not trying to be the typical kitty shonen thing. How dare you threaten the, my mother? Kind of a thing. No, mm. it's the I don't kill people because I'm a good oh, guy. Oh, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. It's like no, no. This is a death tournament. We're totally killing people. Yeah, and it wasn't based on the moral character of right. this guy that justified him dying. Uh huh. Yep. Now. Maybe Kurama felt a little bit better about himself afterwards because sure. he's like, yeah, I don't mind killing you. But his question of like, but, 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 but mercy, like, did you believe in that? He's like, no, no. And yeah. then that was, <laughs> that was the that most was so badass awesome. thing we've yeah. probably seen in this entire show. Uh, like, 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 because that is so like, I can hear the people at the D&D table just like, oh, oh yeah, like when, freaking out because their party member just right. drops a one-liner. And, and the thing is, is so that simple and we would expect so that from good. Hiei, right? We would expect that from Hiei. Right, so, right, right, yeah. So, yeah. like, if Hiei were to do something like that, we'd be like, ah, Sasuke, like, right? Yeah, 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 yeah you know, yeah. That, and that's why we like you, yeah. you know. But getting it from Kurama, it's just like, oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> like, like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I it's, just I love it's, it. It's a uh, it's just another little twist of the idea that Kurama, being someone that has a much softer voice mm. and has a much nicer temperament in general, yeah, and also has kind of an a, a, a more kind of in touch with his feminine side with regards to being a a mama's boy, mm. having a flower weapon. Yeah, he and, fights with a rose. Like that's that's. That's He's a shoujo badass. protagonist. Yeah, basically. yeah. He literally makes the rose petal effect like go behind him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yet, no, I do not show mercy. Nope. <laughs> You're dead. Oh yeah. It's, like, it's some fist of the North Star shit. Here. Seriously. And like just... he also did the teleport behind him. Like, well, right. That was a cool way to show that Kurama <laughs> is just ridiculously fast. Yes. And granted, that wasn't when he actually defeated the guy. So right. you know there is that. But mm -hmm. like. Yeah, I, <laughs> I just love also how disrespectful he was to the guy. He flicks a pebble at him so that his senses feel the pebble more than they feel the seed. Right. Which is genius, yeah. by the mm -hmm. way. Yep. But it's also the most like, like, like insulting way to do this because he basically said, "Ah, I could hit the guy with my fist or my you know yep. attacks or something like that." No, but he's pebble. But he's looking at that too much, so he'll think right. it's something serious. And he, and he does have the switch, so let's be real. You know, I want to take right. this guy seriously. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, but it's... no, mm -hmm. he, yeah, yep. He Joseph Joestar. He, yeah, he he yeah mm -hmm. he just completely ruined this guy. And oh yeah, I'm here for it. Yep. Um, but yes, Kuobara, well done. You fought well. I like that the reason why you lost was because the kid got terrified of you mm -hmm. not jumping back in the ring. Right. And that and is, that was a was fun. That was a great way to make it cuz okay, Kuobara is the is the type that might actually have trouble killing someone, especially if they're a kid. And I'm sure that there are probably <laughs> issues with having your main characters kill someone who looks like a child in your manga, you know, right? That, that could that that could have been an issue, but Maybe. because because of how it went down, we didn't need to actually approach that, right? It right. was it was it was circumvented quite nicely, and yet Kobar is like, "Let's go out back and finish this," you know, because because mm -hmm. you totally cheesed that one out, you know, face me like a man. Oh, I see what you're saying is that because they're all demons, mm -hmm. it's okay for them to be killed, but because this kid looked like a kid, it might have been something have where been it's like, hold on. Issue. You know, yeah. The protagonist to kill. Uh, right. Like, maybe. like, I, maybe. or at the very least, like, if it were to happen, like, maybe do it off screen. Don't, like, decapitate the 
you know, cut off the kid's head and, you know, whatever. Mm, but That could be interesting. It's yeah. like how in Avatar The Last Airbender, they can't say uh, kill. They have to say take right, life, right. end him. Yeah, yeah. All and then stuff. and all the, 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 the guys that come out of the tanks, you know, afterwards to show right. that they're okay. But you know? then immediately afterwards, Roto gets exploded oh, by, yeah. you know, flowers. So Yep, yep, mm, yeah. And maybe not. And I love um, that the, 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 the captain of the team is, like, pissed now. Or, right. or I don't know if he's the captain necessarily, but Zero. Well, yeah, yeah. Zero specifically seems to be, well, yeah, taking this personally, mm-hmm. and I like that because his power in the way that he's been kind of built up seems to be the one that's the most competent. Yes. And thus, we are really like excited about him and probably he a fight. I think him. I think he is going to fight him, and it's yeah. in, but but Genkai could fight him now. Genkai could fight him now. I believe with just the pattern of the way they've shown this thus far, is that whoever wins the previous match submits their fighter first. Oh. So there's a possibility that Kie goes to fight, and, and they he's go... Like, I'll crush this guy. Right, right. But they also could go, hmm, someone else fight him. I'm going to take that, that that tiny little one in the, uh, the yeah. towel, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's right. like, oh, are you sure about that? You know? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I this is it's Just something for like certain matchups, right? <laughs> it's something where this Whoa. this first set of fights is fairly um not 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 that the fights themselves are straightforward, but it's placed within the tournament. There are certain things that it that it does right. It's mm. it's our it's our introduction to how it works, right. and so with some of the fights like with Kuwabara, yeah, we kind of got the feeling that Kuwabara was going to lose, right? Yeah, and and that's and that's totally yeah. fine, but. This makes me very curious, given all the stuff that they're doing here, mm-hmm. on what is going to happen after they, I'm assuming, beat this team, right? Mm-hmm. Because, well, though we'll see in between fight tournament arc kind of stuff. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe they spend a bit of time building up the next team. Maybe they whatever. go and question the the, the, the Kobar sister. And be like, mm-hmm. wait, what are you what here? The hell? Yeah. 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 Or maybe we get to see other fights in the tournament, you know, like a montage yes. or something like that of them, yes, them that just observing. Cool. Yeah, but but yeah, y'all, this was a great, great little uh, continuation of the uh, uh, Rakuyu Kai versus the Urmeshi team. Mm-hmm. So uh, yeah, y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below for our Patreon. You can get an early access there. You can watch full length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access. You can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. Stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yeah, so if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time.